High fructose corn syrup is made from corn that has undergone an enzymatic process, changing its glucose to fructose. Glucose and fructose are two different types of sugars that your body can use for energy, with glucose being processed much more efficiently than fructose. Both of these are present in high fructose corn syrup, but in a ratio that is not regularly found in nature. Because of this, your body doesn't feel full from high fructose corn syrup in the way that it normally would while consuming high quantities of sugar. This is discomforting because, without triggering the full mechanism in your brain, you continue to eat. To put it simply, it is most likely that your body doesn't know how to accurately utilize high fructose corn syrup because the human body is not evolved alongside high fructose corn syrup. It does not occur in nature. In addition, U.S.-backed corn subsidies have led to the use of high fructose corn syrup in food items that traditionally never contained added sugar, among them potato chips and various breads. Many people believe the combination of these two factors results in greater occurrence of obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In fact, there are numerous graphs available that show a correlation between the rise of high fructose corn syrup consumption and obesity over the course of the past 40 years. Contemporary science only recognizes these factors as possible downsides to high fructose corn syrup. However, what is often overlooked is that, heated at high temperatures, high fructose corn syrup rapidly forms hydroxymethylferferol, which, in high enough doses, is toxic to human beings. What's more, the initial process of high fructose corn syrup involves various chemicals that themselves are toxic to humans. However, the final product of high fructose corn syrup is generally believed to contain none of these corrosive agents.